It's the Absolutely Mindy Show on Kids Plays Live, and I have a question for you this morning. I was thinking about this yesterday, and I thought, man, this year is so different than we ever thought it would be. It is shaken out in ways that none of us could have anticipated. And I was thinking, hmm, what would I go back and tell my 2019 year olds, my 2019 year old, my 2019 self, if I could just tap myself on the shoulder last year and say, hey, um, 2020 is coming. This is what it's going to look like. Here's what you got to do now. What would I tell myself? What would you tell yourself? So, Tori, you were saying that you would fill your pockets with all the little bits of joy that you could and have them ready for this year when you need to reach out, reach in and and find a little extra joy when you really, really needed it. Um, That's what you would do. I think that I probably would have told myself, uh, this fun you're having right now, don't even think about the next thing. Enjoy the fun that you're having right now. Enjoy what you're doing right now. And don't even worry about the next thing. Because mm-hmm. I think sometimes we have a tendency to, um, we're, well, you know, well, while you're on vacation, you think about your next vacation. <laughs> that when kind I'm of on thing. vacation, I think yeah. about how sad I'll be at the end of the vacation. Yeah. On well, you, Saturday, I'm already thinking about how sad I'm going to be on Sunday night that the weekend is over. Yeah. And that's, or, not a, that's not a great way to be. Uh-huh. Or, or when you're with your family and you think, oh... You could be having a good time with your family, and then you think, I'm not going to see you again for six more months, uh-huh. only to realize it might actually be more than six months because you don't know what the future holds. So, and you got to just enjoy the moment that you're in. That's what I probably would probably tell myself. So, let's go to the phones. I want to hear from kids and from grown ups today. If you could go back and tap your 2019 self on the shoulder and say, Psst, I got some advice for you for this coming year. What would you tell yourself? So let's go to Maddie in Wisconsin who's standing by. Good morning, Maddie. Good morning. So. I would tell myself to eat a hundred cakes. You would tell yourself. To make hundred cakes. To make, wait, eat or make a hundred cakes? Both. Both. How about this? What if you went back and you tapped your 2019 self on the shoulder and you said, Hey, Maddie, this next year is going to be a little bonker balls. You're not going to be able to share cake with people. But for the rest of the year, I want you to make 100 cakes. And I want you to share every one of those cakes with someone you love. Yep. That's what I would know. Yeah. So you would make the cake. You would find someone to share the cake with you. And you would uh, just sit there chatting, laughing, and eating cake with 100 different people that you love. Do you have 100 people in, the, in your yes. life that you love? Yes, yes, I do. Or do, you have, or do you have like 50 and then you'd eat 50 cakes on your own? Or give 50 cakes away? No, no. All right. So you would just be like, eat the cake, share the cake, and maybe, you know, cake is a sign of celebration. Maybe celebrate the little things. Maybe you would have cakes to celebrate all the little things. And you know what? You okay. can still do. You can still do that in 2020. When there's like a little win, there's a little bit of good news. Celebrate it with a little cake, okay? Yes. Yay. Thanks. It was fun talking with you, Maddie. Thanks for calling. And I think your 2019 self would be proud of, ha- of who Thank you are you. today. Have a great day. Let's go to Nora in Wisconsin. Hey, Nora. Hi. All right, Nora, if you can go back and tap your 2019-year-old self on the shoulder and give her a little bit of advice, what would that advice be? So... Go to Disney World while you can. Go to Disney because World while you can. Is right now some, you can't. Because I mean, right now, next year yeah. you can't. Right, you you can't. I mean, I guess some people are going to Disney World, but generally speaking, not the best time to go to Disney World, even if it's open. Probably would not recommend it. So you're saying if you could go and tell your 29 year old self, you'd be like, Nora, how old were you in 2019? Six. Okay. Six-year-old Nora, I know you're worried about retiring someday. I know that you're saving your tooth fairy money so that you could put a down payment on a house someday when you're 35. But you know what, Nora? 
You need to spend that Tooth Fairy money today. You need to drop it on some Disney World today because you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Yep. And then you'd be like, Mom? Can uh, we go to Disney World? Future Nora just told me we should go to Disney World today. I've got some Tooth Fairy money. I've got my life savings. Yeah, we need to do it today because we don't know what's happening tomorrow. That's a great idea. So just take the trip, do the fun thing, go to Disney World. Stop putting it off. Yeah. I like that. All right, Nora, have a great day. And you know what? Disney World will still be there when all of this is over. I'm pretty sure of it, okay? In the yeah. meantime, you should you should do things that you would normally do at Disney World, like um, find ways to wait in line. You can get your whole family together and form a line and just wait in it for like 90 minutes. <laughs> okay? You could wear costumes okay. for no reason. If you are riding your bike, you could pretend like you are just ride your bike in circles and pretend like you're on that Dumbo ride, that flying Dumbo ride. Yeah. Um, when your mom is driving the car and has to slam on the brakes because the person in front of her did, pretend it's an exciting roller coaster move. Yeah. Um, you could collect all of your giant stuffed animals and drag them around the house all day and uh, whine that they're getting too heavy. Cool. You could set up a gift shop in your bedroom. For your other family members to come shop your old things that you don't want anymore. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. You could, um, you could buy overpriced food from your kitchen. <laughs> you could eat a churro for breakfast. There you go. You could create Disney World right there in your own home. Do you have any creepy dolls? Nope. No, you don't have any creepy dolls. Then you're sorry. Then you're not going to be able to recreate. It's a small world after all. What was that? I have a go kart and a whole like go kart trail. Yeah, that could so be I, a little roller coaster. Totally, Whoa. you can create your own Disney World. I say go for it. Because your twenty twenty your twenty twenty one self is saying make your own Disney World. Trust me. Trust me on this one. Thanks for calling, Nora. Happy uh, today. <laughs> Have a great day. Enjoy your homemade Disney. And let us know how it goes, okay? Okay. Thanks. Bye, Nora. Bye. I just really love the idea of just embracing the Disney magic of getting your whole family to just stand in line together. <laughs> no, that's the worst part. 90 minutes. You set a clock for 90 minutes. Stand in line. Every 30 minutes, you take two steps forward. <coughs> no, that sounds terrible, Mindy. And no bathroom. Nobody can break the line to go to the bathroom. You got to hold it. No. This is gonna, no. Yeah. I, 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 I got to hit the bad idea button on this one. That's how you do your, that's how you do your Disney at home. All right. We'll be right back. one 328 2345 If you could give a bit of advice to your 2019 self, what would it be? I'd like to take calls from kids and from your grown-ups. I'd love to hear from your grown-ups too. one 328 2345